Hello YouTube, thanks for watching, um, joining I mean, sorry I wanted to come up with something for an introduction, but anyway, thank you for coming to watch this video and welcome to part 2 of Jonathan's questions about Disney's Dinosaur, part 2, you know, anyway, we left off right here, probably might remember this shot, but the contour is a little more blurry because it was still going after that dude, the one that's about to get his ass chewed. <laughs> when I say that, I mean like, he's about to get eaten. Now, let's continue. Oh, s sorry. I pushed the home button. Oh, I can imagine that'd be really uncomfortable. I mean, you get dragged on the ground and you get sharp teeth on you. That must have been uncomfortable. Okay, let's pause right here for a minute. Um, this shot right here I wanted to talk about. Is this egg real or a CG prop? I want to know for sure. I don't know really, but I heard in the making of the movie that their goal was to make everything look realistic. But I just want to be sure of what, you know, I just want to be sure for, you know, in reality what this means. I know what they were achieving in the movie, but I just want to know what it really means, you know, like, how they really did it. Is this like a real egg or a CG egg? Because I don't know how they did it. And right here, uh, you know, I just want to talk about this spot. I don't know what the filmmakers did with this spot right here and there, but, you know, the small little ditches. I don't know if they dug it out or anything, but also, I also noticed that that I think that looked like an eggshell. I'm not. I'm not really certain, but to me, I always thought that was an eggshell from from the Conator's footstep. That you know, when it smashed all of the other eggs, killed the babies, sadly, which I think was pretty messed up. Ah, oh, damn it! Me and my buttons. Sorry, I'm having difficulty because I have this in my hand, and you know. Yeah. Still, I wonder if that egg was still real. Oh, here's a good part I want to talk about. And, still wondering if the egg is real. And, I also noticed that, and that, and that, and that, and some of these parts. I always wondered if all these were eggshells. But this one actually gets my attention mostly because... That little red spot right there, it looks like blood. I always thought it was blood. I'm thinking, is that all the blood from the baby dinosaur? Yikes. I thought that was harsh, but I'm not certain. Maybe it's just part of the ground. But for, for, to me, I always thought it was just blood. When I watched the making uh, on the DVD of bonus features... I thought, you know, before I saw it, I thought this was all a real area, but I realized it was actually a digitally created area. Okay, hold on. Here we go. This area, for sure, I believe is real. I think it is, but, you know, you can judge me if I'm wrong or right on the comments below. If you guys know anything about it. Still the same thing. I wonder if this was all real. I used to think, what the hell is he trying to do? Is he just trying to hurt the baby inside while breaking it? That's what I used to thought when he was pounding on the egg. And I always wondered if that was a real shot too in the area. I thought for a minute right there he was going to take a bite and eat the baby. <laughs> that was going to bite its head off. I always laughed at this part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just about when I was about to hit the water. Um, I always wondered, do you guys know where this is at? I mean, I know it's a looks like a spot and everything, a, a nice shot in the movie, but if you guys know where this is at, please tell me in the comments below. 
I'm just going to see those kind of things throughout, you know, where the lake is and these, these rock areas, you know. I know for sure this is CG because, well, as I heard in the making that, well, in the commentary, really, that one of the guys said this whole shot is computer created, well, like digitally made. It's not a real area. <laughs> I wanted to add that. Now, I'm not certain if this is really Venezuela, but I think it is. But the thing I that caught my attention was this part. I thought this was actually the whole waterfall, but when I looked at it closely, it wasn't really moving. But this half is. Watch. See that? That's not really moving. Even that spot wasn't really moving, too. I don't know if this was really underwater or if it's digitally created. But I know the tongues are CG, though. And the dinosaurs. We all know the dinosaurs are computer created. Now, here's a really good shot right here. This is actually all in Venezuela, but where? I heard that the, some of the water here is actually digital and everything. But if you guys think if you guys know anything about this part of the location of Venezuela or if it looks familiar to you guys, please let me know in the comments. Please tell me. Anyway, I'm just gonna continue. And here is Angel Falls in Venezuela. Sorry, I'm just going to have to stop right here. Um, no, actually, I'll keep a little bit going. I still wonder, is this still Venezuela? I mean, judging by the look and the cliffs, I mean, I know Venezuela has big cliffs, but to me, I think this is really Venezuela, but where in Venezuela, I'd like to know. Please tell me in the comments if you have anything about the area and location. I actually thought that was a cool shot. And there's a cliff from Venezuela right here, too. I think all this area right here is all from Venezuela, except right there. I don't think they had an ocean just straight there, because I think that's a map painting. Well, I heard that in the commentary. And here we are in Port Campbell National Park in Australia. Last part. Okay, right there is actually from Port Campbell National Park in Australia. Try to Google Earth it. And the island is a map painting. Anyway, I'll have to show for tonight, and I'll make part three tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And send comments if you have anything about what I was talking about, the locations and everything. Good night.